what a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you is great. You are great. Father, we lift up your holy name. We magnify you who was, who is, and who is to come. You are the only one who deserves a worship, who deserves a praise, who deserves a devotion. You are the only one who deserves a service. And so we lift up your name at this community worship. We exalt you who was, who is, and who is to come. We acknowledge that apart from you, we can do nothing. We are nothing. You are the reason we live. You are the reason we are here. You are the reason we get any victory, if at all. So receive a praise, O oh God. Receive a worship, O oh God. Accept this lunchtime sacrifice as we lift up songs of worship and praise to you. For you alone are worthy of our praise. We humble ourselves before you as we begin this semester. We take that place of decreasing that you may increase. We take that place of dependence on you, the source of our strength, the source of our inspiration, the motivation for everything we do at Uganda Christian University. Only you deserve praise, honor, and adoration. Be honored and glorified. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, you're very, very welcome to this community worship. It is a time we're going to spend in prayer. I'm going to ask that you sit or remain standing. Whatever posture is comfortable with you because we're going to devote this time to prayer, to worship, to praise, to seeking God as we begin this semester. And there are five prayer points we shall be praying into. But first is to humble ourselves and acknowledge our sins and ask God to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. I'll ask Timothy to continue playing as we pray, and I'm inviting you now as an individual to come before God. Ask him to search your heart, to search your heart. 
His word says that if we claim to have no sin, we deceive ourselves. His word says that his hand is not too short to save or his ear too dull to hear, but our sins separate us from God. Come on, let us come before God, emptying our hearts of all self, emptying our hearts of self-righteousness, acknowledging our wrongs and shortcomings before our holy God. Yes, Lord, we come before you knowing that you are holy. We appreciate your grace. We appreciate your mercy. But the fact remains you are holy. The scripture declares in you there is no darkness whatsoever. The scripture declares that you dwell in an approachable light. We come because we need to have an encounter with you. We need to meet with you, our holy God. We also recognize our unholiness, our unworthiness, our sinfulness, our wickedness. We sin in thought, we sin in word, we sin in deed. Lord, we seek your mercy this afternoon. Have mercy upon us this afternoon. Wash us with the precious blood of Jesus, the spotless lamb of God. Cleanse our thoughts, cleanse our lips, cleanse our hearts. Cleanse the totality of who we are. We come to you confident that the blood of Jesus washes white as snow. So cleanse us, Lord. Blot out our transgressions, O God. Renew our minds with your word, O God. Draw us into communion with you at this prayer meeting, O oh God. We also pray, aware of our own weaknesses, that sometimes our minds wander. We are here, but not here. We are here to meet with you, but not focused on you. And so we pray for the ministration of your spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, the chief intercessor we have, and draw us into touch with our God. Thank you because you hear the prayer of a repenting sinner. You hear the prayer of all who turn to you. You have said in your word, whoever comes to me, I will in no way cast away. We embrace that offer of grace. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, our God. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue in prayer in this session, we will ask God's mighty spirit to move on this campus to bring renewal, to bring revival. We shall also pray for all campuses that God will give them a sense of purpose and direction in life. This we shall do interceding for many people we know in the student community. We will be asking God's blessing upon UCU as an institution that we will find favor with God in everything we do and that we shall see his blessing on the work of our hands. Fourthly, we shall pray for the prosperity of staff, students, and guardians, that God will prosper us in every way, especially financially, as we go through the Trinity semester. And lastly, we shall pray against every plan of the evil one. We will nullify his schemes as we call on the name of the Lord. So we now want to pray for the mighty move of God's spirit. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 14 that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, verse 13 and 14. Isaiah 54, 14, 13 and 14. It says, All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. It says, In righteousness you shall be established, you shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. 
I want to invite you where you are to begin to pray with me that God's mighty spirit will move upon this campus and all the campuses of Uganda Christian University. Lord, our God, we thank you. We thank you that you are behind the founding of this university. We thank you that you have called us as you see you to be an instrument of mission. We thank you that you have called us to give holistic education to the whole person. We thank you that the work of transforming the human heart resides with you. Lord, we humble ourselves this afternoon and ask for the move of your spirit in Uganda Christian University. Upon you see you, Mukono campus, upon a campus in Kampala and School of Medicine, upon a campus at Bishop Balam in Kabali, upon a campus in Mbali, O oh God, and upon a campus in Arua. Lord, we ask that you will have your way in each of these campuses. Visit us, O oh God, with your redeeming grace. Show us your manifest presence on every campus, O oh God, as you draw men and women to yourself. We pray that as you move in our midst, you'll convict us of sin and all unrighteousness. You'll convict us of self-righteousness. You'll convict us of religious nominalism. You'll convict us of complacence. Lord, Uganda Christian University can be a Christian university only in name. And we are asking that you move by your spirit to draw us to yourself. That you transform every student who comes on our campuses. That you transform every staff who comes on our campuses. Lord, our God, move by your spirit. We ask that you draw us to that place of true repentance, a turning away from sin, a hating of sin, a remorse, a godly fear that brings transformation. Let your spirit, as it moves on our campuses, bring true repentance, that men and women will walk in godly relationships, that the fear of God will be in our hearts. That some of the things we have been doing, we shall do no more because your spirit is at work in our lives. Lord, give us the fear of you. May it be not be hard at you see you that we are part of the corruption racket. May it be not be hard at you see you that there is rampant sexual immorality, that there is forging of documents at you see you, O oh God. And that can only happen when your spirit moves mightily on our campuses, Lord. Bring that fear of you in our hearts. May your spirit bring true revival, O oh God. Deal with that lukewarmness, Abba Father, where many people are thinking we have seen this again and again. We have seen it for years again and again. Let your spirit bring heart renewal, a passion for you, a fervence for you, a new love for the Lord, because your spirit has set our hearts aflame for you. Lord, bring true revival in our hearts. We pray that you awaken every believer, awaken us in the area of prayer, awaken us in the area of evangelism, awaken us in the area of generosity, Christ-like generosity. Awaken us in the area of truthfulness. Lord, as your spirit moves, you see you will indeed be a Christian university. And so we ask that you have your way. Take your place. Arise, O oh God. Ascend to the highest seat and place of honor. May you be feared in our midst more than we fear the university council, more than we fear or revere any other personality on this campus. 
Lord Jesus, because you are on this campus, in the person of your spirit, may you be revered above all. Thank you, Lord. We look to you and trust that you hear prayer. And we know you'll move to do what no one else can do. Thank you, Lord. I have no other God but you. I have no other God but you. I have no other God. I have no other God but you. I have no other God but you. Let us sing it as we depend on him. I have no other God but you. I have no other. I have no other God but you. You have done what no other man has done. Have done what no man has stand I know you will do you will do what no man can do Lord you have done have done what no man has stand I know you will do you will do what no man can do I have no other God, other God but you. There is no other, I have no other God but you. Lord, you have done, you have done what no man has done. I know you will do, you will do what no man can do. We will pray into purpose and direction for life. Our community is mostly made up of young adults. And they are finding their campus for life. They are finding their direction. And some of them have come to UCU and have gone into habits and have lost their sense of direction. As we begin this semester, we want to pray for them that God will give them purpose and direction in life. It is the Lord who said to Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you to be a prophet to the nations. I want to pray that God's purposes for each of these individuals will stand. It's the Lord who says in Psalm 32 and verse 8, he says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. As we pray, please think about those who have lost direction, who have gone into drugs who are living in cohabitation relationships. Some of them have lost their fees in sports betting or in drinking parties. I want to intercede for them at the beginning of this semester that as the Spirit of God moves, they will find their purpose in Christ Jesus. Go ahead and raise up that item to God in prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you on behalf of this community. We thank you that you give us audience as often as we come. We lift into your hands members of this community. Lord, some of them are staff and others are students. They have lost purpose. They have lost direction. They have lost life's meaning. Some of them are caught up even in addictions. We come to your mercy seat this afternoon. 
Lord, we pray that you reach them with your mercy. We pray in particular that they will embrace the power of your word. For it is your word which brings the renewal of the mind. May your word renew their mind. May they be drawn to your word as it's proclaimed from this podium, as it's proclaimed in fellowship meetings, as it's proclaimed in churches where they go. May they embrace the renewing power of your word, O oh God. Lord, we are praying for forecastness in life. Men and women who know what God has called them to do, what God wants them to be. Men and women who are not lost in the culture of the day. Men and women who are not even confused about their sexual identity and gender. Lord, give them focus, we pray. Give them clarity of vision. Let them hear your voice, O oh God, say to them, as you say to Jeremiah, before you were born, I called you for this. I called you for this assignment. I called you for my people. I called you for my glory. Cause them to hear your voice. Lord, we are praying that you'll give them constructive friends, that the men and women around them will be constructive. Keep away people who would lead them into error. Keep away people who would lead them into addiction. Open their eyes to the deceit around this campus and many university campuses of God and draw meaningful friendships to them. We are praying for those whose minds has been veiled by the devil, that the veil will fall off their mind. The veil will fall off their eyes, that they will see the beauty of salvation, the beauty of being in right standing with the Lord. Cause that veil to be removed, O oh God. Let the light of your saving grace penetrate deep in their hearts. Let the light of your saving grace penetrate deep deep into their intellect. Bring regeneration, O oh God. Bring renewal in their lives, O oh God. Bring a drawing close to you, almighty oh God, as you give them purpose and meaning in life. We also pray that as you move in their lives, you break chains of addiction. Chains of addiction to all manner of things. Break chains of addiction to alcohol. Break chains of addiction to drugs. Break chains of addiction to partying. Break chains of addiction to sports betting. This we are asking in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord chains will break. You enter the prison cell that Peter and Cyrus had been locked up in. And you broke chains. And we have sung again and again, Lord, that there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chains. So we invoke the power of the name of Jesus to break those chains, Lord. And anyone entangled, be it in relationships, set them free, O oh God. Set them free, O oh God. Set them free from cyclic failure, from cyclic drug abuse. Set them free, O oh God, and set them on their way to purpose. Grant, O oh God, that they will embrace their God-given self-worth. That they will not allow poor self-esteem to take them directions which you have not ordained for them. May they be men and women who leave a godly legacy behind. May it be said, yes, to come that those who came in the Trinity semester of 2022 were a different brand because of your doing, Jehovah God. And as you move in their lives, O oh Lord our God, grant that as students we leave a track record of innovation, of practical solutions to Uganda's needs and problems. So Lord, give them a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning, a sense of direction. Thank you, Lord. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Oh, I'm building a people of power, and I'm making.
King of people, of praise that will move through this land by my spirit and will glorify my precious name. I'm building a people of power for I'm building a people of power and I'm making a people of praise that will move through this land by my spirit and will glorify my precious name build your church build your church Lord Lord join our hearts Lord through your sand make us strong Lord in the body in the kingdom of your son Build your church, build your church, Lord. Make us one, Lord. Join our hearts, Lord. Through your sand. Make us strong, Lord. In the body, in the kingdom of your son. Thirdly, we want to come to God and ask for his blessing. The blessing of God upon the works of our hands and the blessing of his presence, that his presence will go with us. It was Moses who said to God, Lord, if you not go with us, do not send us from here. We want to pray that this semester God will bless us uniquely and we live to see the result of his blessing. We will tap into the spirit of Psalm 67, verse 1 to 7. It says, may God be gracious to us and bless us. May God make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. Let all the ends of the earth fear him. So we're going to pray God's blessing upon this institution. Blessed Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We come to you acknowledging that your blessing makes all the difference. Your word says in Psalm 20, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. We come to you as representatives of this community at this service to say we will not trust in our intellectual power. We will not trust in our financial muscle. We will not trust in our fame and renown as a university over the years. We will not trust in our donors will not trust in anything but will trust in you and so Lord here we are seeking your blessing bless us O oh God bless us O oh God we come with that posture that Jacob had many years ago unless you bless me I will not let go of you we dare not even pride in our ability to stick onto you but Lord we pray and call out for your blessing. Bless us as a community. Bless us as a university. Bless the things we do in your name. That what we do may prosper. 
And so, Lord, we are praying for our leaders that they will operate according to God's counsel. That every decision, every deliberation will be in the center of God's will. In your hands, we lift to you the university council. In your hands, we lift to you a cabinet, a top management. In your hands, we lift to you the university senate. In your hands, we lift to you the council of heads of departments and directors. Lord, bless the work of their minds. Bless the work of their hands. We lift into your hands our work of research, our work of research. Even as we write research proposals, let your blessing be upon our work, O oh God. Lord, we pray that with your blessing, you'll protect this university from litigation. Make us to be thorough with the way we handle policy, O oh God. Make us to be thorough in the way we handle every affair of every staff and every student. Lord, we are praying also for our service providers that they will serve us with excellence because your blessing is upon us. That they will deliver on time because your blessing is upon us. We are praying for unity among staff that will tap into their different experiences and gifting and that our corporate output will bring you glory. Bless us, Lord. Bless our endeavors, O oh God. Bless our work, O oh God. Bless the work of our hands, O oh God. Thank you because you hear us when we pray. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. God, you're so good. God, you're so good, God, you're so good, you're so good to me. God, you're so good, God, you're so good, God. You're so good, God, you're so good, you're so good to me. We sing it one more time, God, you're so good, oh yes you are. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. You're so good to me. I want to pray for the prosperity of all staff and students. And I also pray for the prosperity of the guardians. God told Jeremiah to tell the people who are in exile that pray for the prosperity of the places where you are. For when they prosper, you too will prosper. And so this afternoon, we want to wait on God in prayer and ask that God will prosper us. The psalmist says in Psalm, 144 verses 12 to 15 Psalm 144 verses 12 to 15 it says may our sons in their youth be like plants full grown our daughters like corner pillars cut for the structure of the palace may our granaries be full providing all kinds of produce may our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. 
Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. And as we pray for prosperity, I want to ask that you begin with yourself. You know what your plans are. You know what the plans of your family are. Ask God's blessing. That God's blessing will be upon the work of your hands. Thank you, Father. Thank you that in essence you are a blesser. Thank you that you bring blessing away. You multiply our resources. You open doors which are closed. You are the Lord who causes us to be fruitful. We are reminded of Isaac who planted in the time of famine and harvested one hundredfold. That blessing, O oh God, comes from you. Hear your people this afternoon as they seek your blessing, your blessing on the work of their hands, your blessing on their ideas, your blessing on their pursuits. Hear the prayer of your servants and maid servants that, Lord, you will bless your people. And so, Lord, we pray that this semester as never before, you'll meet the needs of all your people. You will provide school fees. You will provide tuition money and upkeep. We pray for provisions of money, provisions of food, provisions of accommodation. We pray that as your blessing is on us, our needs will be met. Lord, we are asking your blessing upon our business ideas that even as we do work for other people, we will be paid on time. That nothing of our expected income will be held back because your blessing is upon us. Lord, we are asking your blessing upon our gardens, your blessing upon our farms. We are asking for the blessing of timely rain this year as never before. We are asking the blessing of protection of our crops from pests of God that our gardens will be fruitful. The gardens of our guardians, whatever they undertake to do, the Lord, it will see your blessing and they will prosper. Lord, we are asking for your blessing of good health, that diseases and sicknesses will not drain our resources. Give us good health, O oh God. Good health, health as individuals. Good health in our families. Good health among our aging parents. Good health even to our distant relatives. Lord, we also pray that as your blessing rests upon us, our names will carry divine favor. Some of us have applied for jobs, have applied for research grants. May our names carry divine favor. Wherever we are named, Lord, may we find favor before panels, before people, even those who have never heard of us. And as your blessing rests upon this university, O oh God, we are praying that our graduates will find meaningful employment. Lord, we know we have upcoming graduation ceremonies and we are churning out graduates semester after semester. We ask your blessing this day that we shall begin to see evidence of doors opening for meaningful employment for our students. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because our blessings come from you and you're faithful. Blessed be your holy name, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. Oh, the Lamb, hallelujah, there is power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, 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 wonder-working in the blood of oh, the Lamb, hallelujah, there is power, 
wonder-walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is victory. Yes, there is. Wonder-walking victory in the blood of the Lamb. There is victory. Victory, wonder walking victory in the precious land of the land. As we close the time of prayer, we want to pray against the plans of the evil one. Apostle Paul uses the words, We are not unaware of the schemes of the devil. We are not unaware. Of the schemes of the devil. And so we want to come before God trusting in his power and pray against every plan of evil, against us as an institution, and against us as individuals. The scripture says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over the present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, to stand firm. So we come in the name of Jesus and pray for victory over the evil one. Let us pray. Lord our God, we thank you that there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in your precious promises. There is power in the act and truth of the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. And you have given us authority over every power of the evil one. You say in your word, in Luke chapter 10, I saw the devil fall like lightning, but I have given you authority over all the power of the evil one. By faith in the name of Jesus, this day we come against every power of the evil one. We come against every plan of the evil one. We come against every trickery of the evil one. We come against powers and principalities and any territorial spirits that come against the mission you have given us as Uganda Christian University. And so we stand strong in the name of Jesus. We put our confidence in the victory of Jesus. Jesus is our victor. We come against satanic schemes of deception who brings wrong ideas to us to take us away from our tracks. We come against unbelief and doubt, seeds of unbelief and doubt in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against witchcraft and occultism and all manner of Satanism in the name of Jesus. The scripture declares that Jesus overcame you by the cross. He triumphed over you, devil, by the cross. And so we render powerless every act of witchcraft, every act of the occult, every act of Satanism. We render you powerless in the name of Jesus. We bind every demonic force on assignment, be it on this campus or in our homes. We bind it and render it powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. By the authority and the power of the name of Jesus, Satan, we adjure you and rebuke you in the Lord's name. Every demonic power on assignment will render you powerless. We come against schemes that come to this campus to recruit our people into homosexuality. May such schemes be exposed and may they amount to nothing in the name of Jesus. May they be exposed and amount to nothing in the name of Jesus. 
May they be exposed and amount to nothing. In the name of Jesus, we come against those schemes among us sportsmen. We come against those schemes among our ministers in fellowship. We come against them in the mighty name of Jesus and render them powerless. We come against a spirit of disunity and communication breakdown. That evil force of the devil that divides us. We said not to eat in the name of Jesus. And we speak unity, the unity of the spirit. The unity that comes to us on the basis of what happened at Calvary. We come against those spirits that bring spiritual lethargy, spiritual laziness. We come against them in the mighty name of Jesus. Those evil forces that cause members of our community to stay away from worship events, to stay away from fellowships, to stay away from devotion. Whatever the devil uses, however justifiable it is, we cancel those schemes in the mighty name of Jesus. We also pray against the idolization, idolization of the arm of flesh. Teach us to trust in you alone, O oh Lord, and to put our confidence in you alone. Lord, we now secure our freedom in Christ. We secure our victory in Christ. We plant righteousness and justice. We establish equity. We establish godliness because then you will be on our side to protect us from every intent of the evil one. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Before we share in the words of the grace and sing a final hymn, we wish to remind you that we shall be in the same place on Thursday and to ask that you tell other members of staff who are not able to come today and other students in the student community that community worship continues from today going forward. We also wish to inform you, those of you who are not aware, that we started an evening fellowship every Wednesday. Every Wednesday at 5.30, we will have an evening fellowship. For one hour, we have codenamed it the One Family Fellowship. The idea that we are one family when we come to this fellowship, regardless of uh, affiliations, regardless of what other fellowships we belong to. And finally, those of you members of staff, you might have had this information on Sunday. We have a special meeting this evening at 5.45 as we dream together on beginning home sales in our homes. If you feel God calling you to host a home cell, I want to invite you to come to this meeting at 5.45 in Principles Hall. Let us now stand and share in the words of the grace and then I'll invite the choir back to lead us in a victory song. Together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever.